Hey guys, so uh, I will just quickly brush through how I created some of these buttons. So let's just sit back and learn. So the different ways to create your buttons, you can either use a rectangle or frame. So I'm going to make use of the tool so we can see how it's done. So you can click on R on your keyboard and just draw your rectangle. So I, the way to use it is, uh, let's see, 134 by 40. So let's apply 134 by 40. And with a corner radius of eight, so yes. Now let's select our rectangle and click on I on our keyboard to pick the color from there. Now we have our color applied to the shape. For our text, let's click on our keyboard and type get started. Okay, let's see what's the size. We use a font size of 12 buttons regular. Let's apply it and place it inside our rectangle. Yeah, already aligned. I give it a color of white so that is done that is just me using the rectangle tool to create the button now if i'm to use the frame tool let me click on f on my keyboard all right 134 by 40. now let's give our frame a few so we can see it so i've selected it click here and then select our color picker and pick the color now let's give our frame the corner radius of 8. Now let's just drag and hold down Alt and place our text inside it. Now it's already aligned. So you can see how we're able to create the button using the rectangle tool and using the frame tool. The advantage of using the frame is that you can place your text inside the frame and there are extra features for you to work with like the layout grid. But when you make use of a rectangle tool, you have just little features like you know, on the property section now we can work with so it depends on what you're trying to achieve but it still gives you the same kind of result rectangle frames rectangle frames now let's try out the other buttons that we have here okay i'll just duplicate what we have here already let me duplicate it hold on select me to hold on auto keep or click and drag now for this we have uh the corner radius to be very high so we'll just give it like 20 apply 20 so it's fully rounded and yeah, it's let's apply 22 to make it fully rounded. Now I can just select my shape again the rectangle, click on I on my keyboard and select the color from here. Then for the frame, okay. The frame this time I'm trying to apply gradients that we have here. So uh, let's click on our frame, let's come down to fill, click on it, click on solid, then select linear. Now just take a look about that's what I'm going to do right here. Now I'll pick my first color, then select the eye dropper tool. Now pick the color from the extreme color that we have there, then select the other color. Then bring the op uh, opacity down to 100, select the eyedropper tool, now pick the other extreme color. You can see it has already been applied. Now, what I did is from left to right. So I adjusted the linear gradient. So I moved it to this point from my left to the right. So you can move it to any point you prefer. If it's right to left, it's the same thing. If it's up to down, you know, just play around with it. But for this example that I shared in class, I use left to right like this. So it's quite straightforward. So so we're done with that. Let's try out another example. Here we use outline for our example. So let's click on drag the hold down alt and drag. Then we have duplicated. Or you can just do Ctrl D on your keyboard or Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Now let's pick the first one. We're going to give it uh let's give our text a different color. So we have a uh, E584 E58 D49. We'll apply the same by removing the field and applying stroke e 5 d 4 9 and that's it now let's also apply the same technique to the frame you know all the examples we have here are made with frames here the examples here are made with rectangles so let's apply gradient to our outline now let's select remove the uh, let's apply it to the text first so we can see our text and not start searching for it now click on fill the color so let's select click on linear and let's apply the gradient for our first color we have um e66 a 79 applied select the other color take the opacity back to 100 6 3c 8 ef now it's already applied to it then i also adjusted it from left top left to the right bottom done let's do the same for the rectangle or for the frame here it is a frame and let's apply stroke to it stroke of one click on the color click on solid click on linear then 
also apply the same gradients we used the other time a66 a79 select the other color bring down the opacity back to 100 then apply the color 63c date df done so adjust it let's take it from the top left to the right bottom so we're done now let's go on to the next example we have here okay here in the next example i have to duplicate as usual drag it down now in this next example we don't have a corner radius so we have to remove our corner radius. let's take it down back to zero also our frame here let's take it back to zero now let's give it a color let's select this color click on iron keyboard just apply it from here let's also do the same click on iron keyboard now apply the color from here now one thing that we have here now is our icons i have some icon libraries already on my pc which is there that i can just pick from random icons i already have or we can just go online using our plugins we are working with our plugins so we really work with iconify to search for icons that we are going to make use of so the icons we are looking for right now one of them is the arrow pointing to the right and we're also looking for the cat icon so let's click on iconify it's loading now we have iconify here now let's okay i've selected google material icon now other icon libraries that we have on the iconify so we can just search for the one we want so we're looking for the arrow pointing to the left so let's just type arrow left at the arrow right see here search for icon arrow right we have found it click and drag we have it here they will also look for okay we still need extra arrow right the long one they will now search for cards so we have our shopping cart just click and drag and drop it they will have it there which other okay we also need a download but uh, download icon so we can just pick all our icons right away uh -huh. and we are done with icon so let's minimize let's close it now let's adjust the size of our icon i'm going to bring this down to 24 and move it to our artboard also move this to oh boy okay while i reduce the icon i did not select the whole frame for the icon so it was just the icon that moved so i'm taking down back to 20 then dragging it back to the artboard we're working with click select drag all of them back to the artboard so we can now play with them yeah okay so for the get started we use with the thin arrow let's make use of this click and drag it here make it smaller i think the size i'll be okay for this right now is the thing it's looking too thick for our text so let's just adjust the thickness so click on the hold on command or control on your pc then click on the icon then you can come down here to adjust the stroke let's see what one is going to give us one is fine let's see what we have here earlier okay one is fine since we're working with a thin icon here so let's change the color let's give it white now let's check the spacing between the icon and the text let's increase it a little so we have a spacing of six now let's select both now let's group it ctrl g let's select our rectangle now come here to align it to the center now we have the text and the icon properly aligned to the center here now let's try the next one the next one we have uh, our shopping cart and we say it says shop now so let's adjust the text to shop now hold down control to select it and then type click on t then type shop now now let's take in our shopping cart click and drag it and place it in there let's see let's adjust the size a little to 18 yeah 18 is fine make sure you align to the center now let's change the color hold on control on your keyboard click and select then click on the field give it a color of white and let's confirm the spacing between our text and our icon okay this is fine now let's align both of them So group it and align to the center of the frame. Yeah, well aligned. Now let's go to the next one. We have okay. Before we go to the next one, I applied a bit of shadow. Yeah, you can see the shadow that was applied there. So let's apply something similar to what we have there. So I'll apply it to both of them now. Select your rectangle, come down to effect, click on drop shadow, edit your drop shadow. Now let's pick the color we have there. Now that's the drop shadow we're working with, but let's make it a bit lighter. 
it's much lighter now now let's increase the blood to 20 yeah 20 is fine let's give it the x value of 4 so we have a bit extended and also below now i think this is perfect for it let's say also, also apply to our frame click on effect so click on drop shadow select the eye drop tool or the color picker tool now we selected it let's give it a much lighter color i think this is fine okay let's still bring down the opacity a little all right i think 60 will be better x value of 4 and blow 20 yeah great so that's how to apply subtle shadow to your button let's make it more visible so let's take it back to 80 i think that's much better so it doesn't look unrealistic now we still have two former buttons to go so let's take this icons down here a little and let's have this duplicated click and drag bring it down now we have our pulse icon says get started but we use a different icon here so let me remove this start sheet ctrl g then delete this icon we're not working with that icon we're using a different icon now now let's drag it over here now okay looking at it here let's make sure we bring it down to like 18 yeah 18 is fine but it's looking so thick here so we'll hold on control and select your icon let's bring it to 1.5 okay 1.5 is fine excellent we've applied our color to it now we have a small circle around it so for a small circle let's click on o on our keyboard o then shift to draw a perfect circle and let's change the color to something light now we selected the blue let's say something light okay this is much better now let's make sure it is behind our icon so right now let's just click on control square bracket left Now let's click on our icon and use a control square bracket right so it brings it up to the top it's much better let's change the color of our icon back to blue that's great aha uh -huh. now it's well aligned let's select the two and group them together now let's adjust the spacing between the text and the icon so the way i tend to check for the spacing around it is I hold down Alt on my keyboard, select whatever element I want to check the spacing around it. For instance, the text is selected, so whenever I hold down Alt and move around my mouse, it shows me the spacing around it. Now let's select these two and also group them. Ctrl G, select our rectangle, align them to the center, both vertically and horizontally. So we've created something similar here. Now let's move on to the next one. Oh, we have a corner radius applied to this place. So let's apply our corner radius. Our corner radius is it with corner smoothing of 60. So when we select our rectangle, Let's apply a corner radius of 8, so it's automatically applied to all the corners. But we want to have a corner smoothing of 60%, so we'll come down here, we click on it, it shows us all the values of the corner radius. Then we we'll click on the triple dot we have here. You can see it shows the corner smoothing, and we apply 60% corner smoothing, which is fine. That's the highest uh, value for the corner smoothing that is recommended. So you can see that it's much smoother compared to these other corner frames that we have here already. So let's do the same for this button that we have here. Corner radius of it, then corner radius of uh, corner smoothing of 60%. Excellent. Since we can apply shadows to this, so let's remove our shadows here. So effects remove the shadow, select this, remove the shadow. So sorry. Control Z, remove the drop shadow. So for this order, we have hard to cut. Now to do our hard to cut, okay, our text is slightly smaller here. So let's just reduce it, bring it down a little. So we can just work with uh, what's our text here? I think we need enough 10. Okay, 10 is fine. So we have 10. All right, so let's just adjust. Hold down control to select the other elements if you can select them. Let's move them about to the other side of the position. Oops, duplicated. So we need one more shape inside this space. So click on R, draw your rectangle, hold and shift to give you a perfect square. So we are doing this square, so we need something perfect. I think 30 will be fine here. Now let's apply. A corner radius of 8 and corner smoothing of 60. So this time around we're using uh that'll be a light green. So use a lighter green. Let's use a lighter shade of green. So okay, nice properly aligned. Let's adjust the corner radius like six. Okay, I'm just stopping to detail. That's it. That's much better. Oh our icons directly behind let's bring it forward 
control right square bracket then I'll group these two I'll group to my little bracket I'll select the icon which uh, I'm selecting is along with the frame yeah excellent let's make it a bit the icon a bit smaller so it doesn't look like it's too big for that frame let's align it yeah it's now properly aligned and let me pick the color we used in our example here so select the frame click on i so pick the color select the rectangle hold down control to select it and click on i again and pick the color from there so the next thing is to change the text click on t add to cut then the make sure it's properly aligned also so we can check out the spacing we have 18 we have 25 18 and 25, yeah, the difference is much. Let's move it to 20, 23. So let's move it to now like 22, uh, 21 is better. But it should be perfect next time. So I deleted the wrong thing. Alright. So let's move on to the next one. We have the two icons to go, or the two buttons to go. Click and drag, bring it down, and let's change the color to what we have already. Select the rectangle, click on that to the color, select the other frame, select the frame, click on I, let's see what I just did the color. So let's adjust our text to hold on control to hold on control and to select the text. Also, so let's adjust our text here. So download app. Now we're going to be using the download icon so we don't need this and this so here's our download icon let's move it here and bring it inside it's too big let's adjust it a little let me mock it. Whenever I do this, it shrinks the proportion. So whenever you are reducing the size, it reduces all sides. So I'm telling us it's not like one side is going up or going down. It won't get distorted. So when you mock it, if you are trying to adjust, increase or decrease the size, you can see it's not getting distorted. You can hold and shift to even ensure that just hold and shift, it doesn't get distorted. But if it's not selected and you try to move it about anything can happen, but if you still hold and shift, it won't get distorted. But at least try to lock it. Now let's bring down the size to 18. 18 seems too big. Let's try 16. Uh, 16 looks much better, but it's looking so thick. So right click on it, make sure what we are trying to adjust is selected. Let's bring it down to 1.5. Yeah, I think 1.5 is much better. I think the color to white. Now we're done. Let's ensure it's aligned. Let's right, so bring it to the selected. And we're done. It's properly aligned. Let's also duplicate the leader icon here. Also, duplicate and bring it down here. Let's move this to the right. And what else is better looking? It's a different frame. Now, since this part is the same, what we can do is just place the rectangle and place it inside. So, hold on, shift and draw the rectangle to give us a square. Perfect. Now, we place it inside our shape. Inside it's properly aligned. Now we have it. And just click and drag it down here so it doesn't cover our icon. Now align so let's check this out. Our text align to this. Yeah. yeah, much better. And let's give it a color. Select it to the control and click and select. Then use I uh, click on our keyboard and we have it. So guys, so you can see it's quite straightforward and you know it's fun. 